Hi guys, so I could quickly wanted to talk about the interrupt system on the Arduino. So typically, maybe on an STM32 microcontroller, uh, you want to do a GPIO interrupt. Uh, you have to go through a bit of a process with the XDI lines, um, the NVIC, the nested vector interrupt, IRQ numbers. So uh, great about the Arduino framework or the Arduino library is you have one line called attach interrupt and that's it now you have to pass in the pin where you want the interrupt to happen so the arduino uno can take pin two and pin three so we have these two pins right here attach interrupt so here you'll see a function called digital pin to interrupt and it takes the pin as an argument so this is very important because this will convert the pin number to the corresponding interrupt number um, so let's go back to we can turn that into a macro as well but let's see digital pin to interrupt so you have to go digital pin to interrupt uh, and here we'll put the interrupt pin and this is going to transform our pin number into the corresponding interrupt number this is what we have to put so you can't just put two or three in here directly you have to put in uh, the, the pin number through this function um, next, you have the ISR, which is the interrupt subroutine. So this will be just the name of a function, and you don't have to execute the function. So you can just put the name of a function. Um, so we could uh, just define a function right here, right? Function, um, you can call it whatever. You can call it an interrupt handler. And uh, yeah, it can do whatever you want. This is what's going to happen once the interrupt triggers. Uh, so if you have a sensor, you can put whatever you want to happen here. Keep in mind, though, that this function should be rather short because it is a blocking function. The processor is going to execute whatever's in here. So if whatever stalls here, your microcontroller is going to stall. Um, so make sure you take very good care of what you put into this function. And then lastly, we'll put the mode. So if we scroll down here to parameter values, uh, defines when the interrupt should be triggered. So you have four constants to choose from. One is low, so whenever, if pin, let's say we have it on pin three, as long as this uh, line here is high, then you're not gonna get an interrupt. But when it goes low, when it's pulled low by something, then you'll have a trigger. And then whatever's in your interrupt handler is gonna execute. You can do change, so whenever, if it's low and it changes to high, or if it's higher, it changes to low, uh, this one will trigger. So let's say you have a clock. Uh, your interrupt will trigger on the on the rising and on the falling and then yeah you have the rising if it just triggers on the rising from high from low to high falling if it triggers from high to low yeah so let's uh do let's say we have an encoder um so wherever we have a rising i think is a good one um uh, okay so that's our interrupt i just have to put the interrupt handler here uh, do not use the parentheses because we're not executing it here. We're just calling it. So here we see an example. We have the interrupt pin set to two here. They're using the digital pin to interrupt function to get the interrupt number. Uh, they have a um, interrupt handler called blink where, what does it do? It says state is equal to not state. So it changes the state. Um, so if state is one, it'll be zero and vice versa. Then on the change. So whenever the voltage goes from low to high or high to low, uh, the state is going to change to the opposite state. Yeah, so hopefully that explains the attach interrupt. I think it's very uh, good that you know this. Uh, if you have a project with sensors or encoders or anything where whatever pops up on, as soon as you get a ping from the sensor, you want your interrupt handler to, to count or handle that. Uh, this is a very good uh, code syntax to know for the Arduino. Um, and it's so simple compared to, uh, if you ever delve into STM32s, you'll see that it's quite a bit of a setup to um, get an interrupt going. So this GPIO interrupt is pretty smooth. So I hope you find this useful and I hope your projects are awesome. And uh, yeah, good luck. Thank you.